We are the only company to produce exclusively XO from Grand Champagne. We don't do a drop of VS or VSOP. We don't produce any other cognac than Grand Champagne, the premier cru du cognac. We are a very small boutique company. We are less than 20 people. We are one of the last uh, company which is family owned, independent. So we have a small production, but we sell our cognac and we send our cognac all over the world, 70 countries in the world. So US indeed, but also uh, Russia, Japan, China, France, England, everywhere. We age the cognac individually in their cask, and at the end of the aging, we are going to decide uh, which cognac do we need to put in the blend. So indeed, we will have different style, different age. Cognac in general is blend. So it's a mix of different cognacs to achieve the same final product, same final taste. And to do that, we are going to select different cognacs and mix them all together. Mind your step. People feel to be like under the ground, but we are not. Uh, the street is right behind this door. The uh, river, the Charente, is very close and it gives the right uh, humidity for, for cognac, so it's, it's perfect for us. And we want that, we want the cognacs to, to experience some um, more humid here, and uh, dry atmosphere upstairs, and uh, different casks as well, like a younger cask and an older cask. So this cask has been built in November 88, so no new cask. Minimum would be eight or 10 years old. Uh, so the aging will be very different for the cognacs. So in those big vats, this is where we mix uh, cognac A and B and C and D, etc., etc., to achieve pale and dry. The pale and dry people know. So um, the recipe will be always different, but the final taste will be always the same. We have five main cognacs, and some of them so additionally are single cask. We start at Dunama with EXO. We have no VS, no VSOP, and the one we start with is pale and dry, which defines the entire style of Dunama. We're very fresh, very elegant, very fruity. The oak is very discreet because we never use new cask at Dunama. Uh, this is a blend of 25 years old. And then we jump to Vesper, which is very different from pale and dry. Day and night, more on the autumn notes, cacao, stone fruits. And then we have extra which is new since 2006. More like pale and dry style, 40 years old. Very silky, very much on the dry fruit. And then we have Trevinard, which will be the mother of pale and dry. Same style, but much more complex, 55 years old. And then we have a single cask cognac, which is called Reserve de la Famille. And this is from one cask only, not a blend. When we feel a cognac is exceptional, we bottle it, just like this. Vintage cognac, which are bottled cask after cask, and they have the, the advantage to have a vintage and it, uh, an age on the, on the cognac. So, those are very, very small batches, but very rare cognac. You know, usually cognacs are not vintage, so there is no date on mm -hmm. no bottles, except if you do a special process. The BNIC is controlling this place, so there is only one person doing that from the BNIC. And when we want to open one cask, we have to call him because every cask are sealed and he is doing it. And when we do sell a vintage cognac, for example, from 1977, he kind of proves that this is a cognac harvested in 1977 and not to mix with 1977 and younger cognacs. We made only 511 bottles for all our markets. So basically every year we try to have one new cognac there doesn't mean that all the cognacs will become vintage. If we feel that they are not exceptional on, on their own, we could blend those cognacs. We can step in. Potentially, they can all become vintage cognac. So maybe 1973 would be vintage, maybe 1963. Minimum would be 30 years old. This is uh, our priority. So cognacs which we feel exceptional to achieve their maturity in the cask and we want to stop the aging so from the cask to the bottles. In 2007 we, we made a special bottle uh, it's called Le Voyage and we made 500 bottles from this parody. Uh, this is in the Crystal Baccarat decanter. We were using cognacs harvested 160 years ago so the cognacs we are producing today are have been bought by people before us. 
Like the youngest cognac we, we do produce are minimum 20 years old. So it's not cognac we bought yesterday. And the cognacs we buy today will be used by people after us when you will be retired and when you will be retired. So the dates you see on the bottles are the harvest date. So we have cognac harvested in 1878. We have cognac 1847 for the oldest. So it's, it's a kind of memory for the, for the company. It's not for sale, it's not for taste. We'll be for the next generation. We are going to select Vintage 2012 and it will be released in 30 years uh, when I'm over uh, 73, so, so that's the idea. And today we, we bottled 1977, which was, uh, which was this year when I was a kid. And, and so it's, it's indeed a long-term uh, investment and, and the vision has to be long-term, always.